Looking for a delicious soup that's excellent for your gut health and your immune system? I've got just the thing. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics Channel, where we bring health and vibrancy into the kitchen one recipe at a time. I'm so happy you're here today because today we're going to be making a powerful bone broth mushroom miso soup. In your pot, add four cups of either chicken bone broth protein or you can take our Organics Plain Bone Broth Protein Powder and mix it together with 36 ounces of filtered water. And when I did this, I just stuck it in my blender. That's why you see a little bit of foam on the top. It actually had a whole lot of foam and it's had a little bit of time to settle. Um, and the magic of our organic bone broth protein is that it's going to add 60 grams of organic protein that's super beneficial for your gut health. Bring your broth to a simmer over medium heat. When your broth has come to a simmer, add in one cup of your favorite chopped up mushroom. Now, mushrooms are such an excellent source of calcium, which is so good for your bone health. Be careful when you add it in, just because it's so hot. Next, let's add one half of a red onion that's been chopped up. Red onions are incredible in that they can help reduce the inflammation in the body. Three cloves of minced garlic. Garlic is so good for your immune system. It can help fight off colds, congestion, and coughs. So beautiful. One tablespoon of freshly grated ginger root. Ginger root is so good for your digestion and can also help fight inflammation in the body. Last, let's add one quarter cup of dried wakame. Wakame is a seaweed and it's loaded with iodine, which is essential for healthy thyroid function. Simmer these ingredients for about 15 minutes. Reduce your heat down to low, and then you want to remove about one and a half cups of your broth into a separate container. I'm just going to use a lid just to help so that I don't get the mushrooms and the seaweed. Some is fine, but all right, that's perfect. Add three tablespoons of organic mellow white miso paste to your broth. Now there's a lot of debate right now as to whether it is safe to consume soybean products and rightfully so. It's about 94% of soybeans that are grown here in the US are unfortunately genetically modified. And then on the other hand, because miso is fermented, it can also be very beneficial to your gut health. So what do you do? Well, you don't consume a lot of it, number one, and then you can look for really high quality organic miso paste, or you can look for gorbanzo miso paste. Either one is great. You're going to want to add this to your broth and then whisk it all together. Okay, I've whisked together the miso paste and my broth. Pour it back into your pan here, and then simmer on low for another five minutes. And now our soup is ready to be served up. It's beautiful. Mushroom and the seaweed. And once you have it served in your bowl, you can add some chopped scallions to the top. The time has come to taste our miso soup. See what we got going on here. That's really nice. Really nice miso soup. And um, I don't know if you've ever used the bone broth protein before, the powder, but what happens is it actually becomes a thicker consistency. So this soup is like hearty. It's not what I would normally think of when I think of miso soup. So if you like a thinner soup, I would just suggest maybe adding in some more water to thin it out just a little bit. Because look at this, I mean it's super thick, it's super full. Oh, so good, so good for you, so good for your digestion. Definitely give this one a try. 
Give this soup a try, and then be sure to let me know how it went for you in the comments section below. And I'm here each week with a new healthy recipe to help support you and your loved ones. So be sure to subscribe to our channel.